Welcome to my channel. Today's video is about making this glass lamp with Dollar Tree items. Apply E6000 to base of the both the candle holders. Place one on top of another. Make sure you placed it correctly. Ends of the both the candle holders should match. Now repeat the same process with another set of holders. Leave it for drying for 24 hours. I'm using E6000 for this. Add votive candle holders on top of it. Make sure it is centered. While they are drying, let's make holes on this plastic bowl using soldering iron in between the grooves just above the end make sure iron is hot and make sure all the holes are in straight line once we are done with it let's start adding bead chains we are using two different length of bead chains here i'm taking 17 bead length chain and another chain is 16 bead length chain so we are adding 17 and 16 alternatively. Repeat the process with the 16 beads. Now insert ring through the hole. It looks complicated but it is easy. Find your easiest way. Try one or two times you will know what is the best way for you and complete it with all the holes using 17 and 16 alternatively this is the completed look now let's add chandelier drops to the ends of bead chain Now we are decorating the lampshade with diamond wrap which is cut into strips pre-measured. Purple rhinestones. Pieces of flower mesh ribbon E6000 Hot glue gun And also white rhinestones Apply hot glue And apply the diamond wrap strip Over it Repeat the process for all the edges. This is the completed look. Let's 
Let's decorate with flower mesh ribbon pieces. In gaps above the bead chain attachment. I completed it off the camera but let me show you what and how I did. I glued flower ribbon pieces first and on the top of the bowl at the end I added purple rhinestone. So on above the flower piece I glued white rhinestone and above it another purple one. I'm going to show you how I did it. For this one, add glue on sides of the edges instead of inside the groove as the flower part is bigger. This is the completed look. Now let's decorate the top of the lampshade. We are adding flower piece. and purple stone alternatively. Once it is done, let's do another circle inside of it just with flower mesh ribbon pieces. Now we are adding door knob exactly in the center of the lampshade. You can see the center part, add hot glue there and add door knob. Around flower pieces for third line let's add purple stones. For the last round we are adding white rhinestones. Now the shade is completely decorated, this is the final look. Let's make the base part. For it, we are gluing one of the combined candle holders to a glass bowl using E6000. To make stem part of the lamp, to the base we just glued, we are gluing another candle holder set. Keep this aside for 24 hours or 12 hours for drying. Let's decorate the base part. Add flower part to cover the joint of votive candle holder and bowl. For next row add purple rhinestones in between the flower part.
For next row, we are adding flower mesh ribbon part in between the purple. So in this way, you can see three lines. First line is flower mesh ribbon pieces. Next row is purple rhinestone, and next row is again flower mesh ribbon pieces. In the same way, decorate the bottom part too. I missed recording that part, but you can see in the final look. One last part of decorating is the stem part. I added lines of flower mesh ribbon to cover the joints where we glued to make it look like one piece. And one quick tip is add glue to ribbon instead of glass. Let's assemble lamp shade part and lamp part together. This is final look. As you can see, it's really very very beautiful. I added push light in the bottom of the bowl. Whenever you want light, turn the light on. I hope you liked it. If you are making one, please tag me. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel.